Well, good morning, Blagnell family. It's Wednesday, the 10th of March, if you can believe it. The sun is out, uh, 70 degrees today. Um, there's hope in the wind, and uh, I hope that you all are experiencing that, even as families are trying to work through the details of changes and schooling for their kids, and even as we are just feeling like, wow, we need a change. I think the Lord has heard our cry. We are hopeful. And uh, Resurrection Sunday, uh, Easter Sunday, April the 4th, uh, will be a great day of celebration for us. Several uh, things about which we're really excited today. First of all, uh, uh, check below for a link to an interview. Our own Molly Demarest, a uh, member of our personnel committee and a member of the search team that hired Wynn Reagan, who is our new director of music and worship, will be spending about 30 minutes talking to Wynn, and their conversation is attached. And we hope that you will see this as an opportunity to get to know Wynn uh, a little bit better, since we haven't had the privilege of being together face-to-face -to -face yet. Uh, we will soon, we trust, but uh, this is a great opportunity for you to begin the process of getting to know him. And I can't wait for you to meet Casey, and their three kids. I'm also very excited today to announce to you uh, the results of the second search committee for which you all have been praying. Melissa Hardemink has led a great search team uh, as they have been interviewing candidates for the Director of Congregational Care, a position that has uh, was most recently filled until last June by Margaret Frothingham. But today, it's my joy to announce that Becky Gould is going to be uh, filling that role for us, and we couldn't be more excited. Becky is finishing her teaching at uh, Trinity School, and she'll wrap that up in mid-June, and she'll be joining the staff on July the 1st. So we're really excited about that. If you know Becky, we hope that you will uh, be as thrilled with this uh, announcement as uh, all of us are. Of course, uh, there are always sorrows that uh, attach to this season more deeply so. Perhaps George McLam, 93-year-old, uh, one of the most gentle, generous members of our congregation, also one of the quietest, uh, went to be with the Lord this past week. And I'd like to invite you to pray for Faye and for uh, George's son, Barry, as they say their farewells and see you laters to their husband and their father. Uh, George and Faye live on Barini Road, so if you're in that part of the world, uh, I encourage you to look up their address, drop a card off for Faye. It will mean the world to her. She herself is battling health concerns. Uh, the service is gonna be later on this week. Let's pray for the McLean family. We also wanna pray uh, in Thanksgiving for a new life that has been given to uh, folks in our congregation. Uh, Jimmy and Marilyn, Mary Lynn, sorry, Mary Lynn Myers had a second daughter, Kitty. And so Lila has a, has a little sister. Uh, we're excited for Mary Lynn and Jimmy and know that you will be too. Just one housekeeping matter on March the 21st, which is Sunday after this next one, at 12 o'clock, we will be holding a, a Zoom congregational meeting for the purpose of electing elders and deacons to our next class of officers. It would really be important for you to be a part of that. The uh, bios are a part of the attached uh, uh, email. You can have access to all of their information well in advance of our coming together on the 21st. So we uh, hope that you'll prayerfully consider your participation in that. That's it for me today. It's a beautiful day. I'm hoping to get outside and go for a walk at some point. I hope you will too. God bless. See you next week. Bye.